Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Ninja Trader to your interactive brokers account. And it's really, really easy and simple. So, first things first, let me go over some of the requirements. You need to have at least uh, Ninja Trader 8.0.27.0 or later. And then, what you need is you want to have the live trading. Uh, well, it requires a multi broker add on. So, you want to go ahead and subscribe to that. Then you, of course, need a valid account and the login credentials. So you need to have at least one of these uh, standalone uh, bro interactive uh, brokers API software. You can get T the TWS one or the IB Gateway. So I'm going to show you how to do this with the IB Gateway. So what you want to do first is start IB Gateway. And what you want to do is you want to set the API type to IB API. Enter your IB username and password. Just log in to the gateway. And then what you want to do, you want to come here, click on configure, and then click on settings. And then you'll see a bunch of different settings right here. What you want to do is you want to enable the following options. So you want to go ahead and include the virtual FX positions when uh, sending portfolio. You want to, of course, allow the connections from local host only. And you want to, of course, also send status updates. And you want to send Forex market data in compatibility mode. Okay. So you want to turn those options on. You want to make sure those are turned on. And then what we can do is go ahead and press apply. Then click on OK. And then what we will do, guys, is so this is with the TWS. You can do that as well. So you can go ahead and just use the API I showed you. You don't have to do this TWS. This is the uh, IB gateway. You can do it at TWS as well, but this one is way much, much, much simpler. So now we're going to be connecting. Okay. So you need to have Ninja Tr Trader installed. So go ahead and start Ninja Trader. And from the control center menu, you want to go click on connections, click on configure. Then what we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to be adding a connection so from the available connections you want to go ahead and look for interactive brokers go ahead and click on that and then click on add okay now here you need to put in a bunch of different information so you need to go ahead and put your username and password this is important and then you can go ahead and choose the settings okay choose connect using TWS or IB and uh, uh, API and of course, you can choose your client ID, your host, your log level, your port, all this. You want to ensure you set it to the same value in the gateway API settings. So go ahead and choose the same values. The host, you can leave it at 127.0.01. Client ID, leave it at zero. Just copy all those guys. This is the most important that you want to change. You want to make sure it's the same as your settings, the port, okay? So in this case, it was 7496. Click on Apply, then press on OK. And then what you can see, guys, you can come here, click on Connections, and you should see your connection name with a green dot on the left, and you will basically be connected. And it's really, really that easy and simple, guys. So I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, guys, consider smashing the Like button, as well as subscribing to find your solutions. And I'll see you in the next one.